Hello, today we're going to make simple carrot recipe. So, we have some carrots here, which we're going to grate, and some egg replacements, which we're going to mix a little bit of water so there's no bubbles. And one stick of butter, half cup of sugar, flour with a pinch of salt, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So, let's get mixing. So, we're mixing together the egg replacement with a bit of water so that there's no air bubbles. We poured in the egg replacement and we put in the flour, salt, cinnamon and sugar mixture. And now we're just <laughs> looks like hair. Like Melting the butter so that we can put it into the mixture. Okay, we're adding in the melted butter. We're going to mix it again. <laughs> and we're going to add about two tablespoons of milk into the mixture, just to make it a bit more liquid. We're going to mix it one more time. We're going to add in a pinch of nutmeg. If you have already ground nutmeg, you can use a pinch of that, but we don't, so we use a hard nutmeg. We're going to add in a little bit of flour, just because it was a bit too liquid. So we're going to add in a bit more the rest of the packet of flour. And we are going to mix it again so that all the flour is um, mixed in. Okay, this is what the finished dough should look like. Not too liquid and not too hard. It doesn't look that inviting, but should be okay. So, so the jar is setting the oven up for 350 or 100 Celsius for it's for 45 minutes, probably less. Low rack. Going to grease the pan with some coconut fat. And we're going to pour the cake mix in. Nice and true. It's okay if there's little bits of coconut fat left because they will melt, but try to get every inch covered. Okay, and now we are going to pour in our cake mixture. We use this big one because this is going to make it more flat and it's going to bake quicker. It's going to be so thick, but nice and thick. And make sure to scrape as much as you can up the bolt. Yeah, all the yummy Now we just have to even it out. Can't wait when it's ready. <laughs> you said what I was thinking. Okay, now we're going to make the chocolate sauce for the carrot cake. First, melt some coconut fat in a pot. So, first you'll need um, one tablespoon of sugar, about a tablespoon of cacao, and one tablespoon of milk. So, we've already melted some coconut fat in the pot, and now we are going to add in our sugar. Get it all out. Don't want to waste any of the precious sugar. Okay, and now we just Melt this in with the coconut fat. Doesn't need to be all completely melted, just until it's almost all melted. So we're melting 
bit. Okay, now we are going to add in the cacao. And we're going to mix that together. To make a nice... Wow, it smells really good. <laughs> So we're going to let this melt. Melting the sugar for about five minutes. We added a bit more milk. Because there was still a bit of sugar that hadn't melted, it turned into a lump of caramel and we saw a chance so we plucked it out and ate it. And this is the finished chocolate. The chocolate has been cooling, and now it's not hard, but nice and creamy. One little baby cooking me dear. So cute, looking for the gummy bear. Mmm. Can't wait till that's ready. Mm -hmm. Ah, yum, yum, yum. It's glowing. It's glowing. I'm oh, stop glowing. <laughs> oh. So guys, this is the cake when it's finished baking. Look at it, so nice. So we were actually baking it for 15 minutes. Hope it's ready. It's so nice and brown, and when you touch it, it's like fluffy, but not too fluffy. So it's just like moist and soft, but also firm and sweet. Doesn't it look good? Mm. Hey, and here you have it, our finished chocolate carrot cake. We cut some almonds and sprinkled them on top, and it looks so good. I can't wait to dig in. Okay. Ooh, ding! <laughs> I'm going to get this going. Mm. Look at it. Get my face. I'm going to eat my first. I'm going to eat my first. No! <laughs> there we are. Mmm. Mm. It's a good combination of chocolate. Yeah. And carrot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> more and more. And more. It tastes much better when it's cooled down. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, the chocolate's crunchy. Mm-hmm. We let it cool for about five minutes before eating. <laughs> and that was a good thing. It was a good thing. Mm hmm Makes it nice and cool. So, as always, the chocolate sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Didn't seem that way, but now we put it in the freezer so it's not harder. And as always, subscribe, comment with new ideas for us to use. Simple.